God, I'm so excited. Finally, this is real, this is happening. Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. Just in case you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, and I am so happy that you're here. So today is a super exciting day. Welcome to my new studio, guys. I'm so excited. So as some of you may or may not know, I just recently made the move to Atlanta from the Cayman Islands to Atlanta, like a huge adjustment, a huge change, and this is why I've kind of been a little bit more quiet on YouTube. So that is where I've been for these last couple of weeks. I've kind of put most of the everyday happenings or so like on my Instagram. So if you guys are interested in continuing to see some of that stuff, my progress, etc, etc, then go ahead and follow me there. But today I really want to talk all about this studio. It has been so much work, so much research, so much building furniture. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of building furniture. But I basically wanted to show you guys what I got because I feel like I did it pretty cost effective. I tried to keep it super simple but still very nice and organized and I love it. I'm so, so happy with the way that it came out. I did some before footage when the room was kind of empty and the stuff was just scattered all over the place. So you guys will be able to see it from the very beginning up until how it is right now, all nice and organized. So let's go ahead and get started. I will show you guys the before footage first and then we'll kind of make a progression all the way to now. Ta-da! Welcome to day one of my beauty room slash studio tour. Yes, mama! It's day one. It's day one. All right, guys. So here is my current studio. Ew, I was really on the fence about filming this because it's such a mess right now, but I really wanted to show y'all the entire process. So basically what I have planned for this room on this side, I think this or this or maybe both depending maybe I have two different setups for two different looks but these two will most likely be like my filming walls um, these are some shelves that I just recently picked up from Ikea you just simply like mount them onto the wall like this and then you can put cute little decor on them so planning on getting those up soon then I just have some of my equipment kind of just out on this wall now, I'm gonna try and do like all of my makeup stuff. So basically, this is gonna end up being like my studio slash beauty room. So this is gonna be the makeup wall and I'm planning on getting some nice like tall drawers and maybe like a nice big lighted mirror or something. And then on this back wall here is gonna be more hair products. So it's makeup on this side and then hair on this side and I'm probably just gonna get some bookshelves and stick all my products on there, get them all organized. So yeah guys, this is pretty much it. It is a hot mess express right now, but I'm just in the process of picking up pieces one by one. I'm not rushing because I want to make it perfect and find like the most amazing pieces at the most affordable price. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. All right guys, I'm getting ready to show the final look now. Can I get a drum roll please? That is like a piss poor drum roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here is the final look. Guys, I'm so freaking happy with how this turned out. It was as inexpensive as it possibly could be and I really, really just am obsessed. This painting right here is actually from San Francisco. So it's been from like San Francisco to Cayman Islands and now to Atlanta, Georgia. Say hi, Hershey. Say hello. <laughs> All right, so this is how my studio is usually set up when I'm filming. Actually, let me go ahead and turn these off for a second. All right, so in terms of my studio equipment, I didn't really have to purchase anything because I shipped all of this from the Cayman Islands but in case you're interested I have tagged all the details below so on to the more exciting things my furniture so this piece here I already think I'm gonna need to purchase another one but I actually got this from Target I think it's really cute I kind of like how it has the spaces on the sides just because that way I can kind of see through the side as well it was actually pretty straightforward and semi easy to build I built it by myself so basically this is where I'm going to house all of my hair products and my skincare products and maybe a little bit of makeup. 
So what's really gonna actually hold my makeup is this bad boy right here. So as you guys would have seen in my before footage, I was planning on actually putting this here, but as you can see, I've decided to leave this blank and actually put it here because I actually like how this looks in the back of my YouTube videos. It's a really nice little piece of decor in the back and I think it just brings everything together, especially with my little painting. It's just perfect. So this piece I actually got from Ikea. Super nice, super useful, and also very easy to put together. These drawers themselves still need organizing. Like I wanna get the little drawer organizers so that things don't like slide around every time I open it, etc., cetera, et cetera. But I'll still give you a little quick tour of what I have so far. It kind of serves its purpose right now, for sure. So all my foundations. And here I've got my concealers, my contour sticks, and then some bronzers and powders. Next we got blush and highlighters. Then here I have all eye stuff as well as brow stuff. Then I have all of my eyeshadow palettes. This is probably my favorite drawer. <laughs> And then I have all of my lipsticks. Now this is horrendous. Like this gives me anxiety to look at. So definitely, definitely will be researching a drawer organizer just so I can get this all organized. So it'll be a lot easier to find what I'm looking for. And then for right now, these bottom two drawers are actually empty. So I have a little bit of extra storage. But that is it for this guy. I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 recommend if you have a lot of makeup like me. And then next we have this beautiful, gorgeous plant. Guys, it's fake. I can't, I can't keep plants alive. I can't, I'm just one of those. I've killed an aloe plant, so that's how you know it's bad. But um, it's like the realest fake plant I've ever seen and it looks really cute in the background of my photos. Just as like a little casual, tropical vibes, you know? So I purchased this from Amazon. This was about like $110, I believe, but so worth it. I'm actually really obsessed with it. Super low maintenance, it just sits there. You don't have to water it, it'll never die. It'll just be like this forever. I purchased this cute little plant pot from TJ Maxx, I believe. I just saw it in the store and kind of just picked it up. It was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but again, I will confirm that in the description box below. Between these two, I can't decide which one is my favorite part about this room. Okay, now on to my table and stool. So I just wanted a super, super cheap, affordable, simple stool. I kind of prefer a stool rather than a chair that has a back because I don't like the chair back to show in my videos. So I just went on Amazon, went researching, and I found the cheapest stool. It gets the job done. It was super easy to put together, and that's that. And for my table, this is from Ikea, and now this was super, super affordable. I went with a black one because I just know that I just use a lot of makeup, I use a lot of hair products, skincare, etc., etc. so I needed something dark that was gonna hide the stains. As you can see, I've already got some stains going on here, but this is why I didn't wanna spend money on something super expensive, because I knew this table was gonna go through some time. So basically at Ikea what you can do is purchase the tabletop and then you just purchase some legs for it and that's it. Like the legs were about four or five dollars each and then the tabletop I want to say was about 16 bucks. I think it was like under 20 for sure. Super affordable and again the most easy thing in here to put together. I think even easier than the stool. All right, and then lastly, I guess I haven't really shown you guys my closet. There's nothing really exciting in there, but here we go. So I really love that my room actually had this cute little closet so that any other little miscellaneous item could kind of just go in here and then I can close the door and the room will still look nice and neat. So these are my carrying cases for all of my camera equipment. I brought a little reflector here for when I'm taking photos. My camera bag with some extra camera accessories are in there. And then up here I just have kind of a bunch of random stuff. I have these ledges that I were gonna put on the wall, but then I have to get a stud finder and all that. Ain't nobody got time. So I've decided to just stick with this current simple solution for right now. But whenever I'm getting bored and I wanna switch it up, I will probably start to use these. I did purchase these from Ikea and I wanna say they were super, super cheap as usual. Everything at Ikea is so affordable. 
But yeah guys, that is pretty much it for my cute little simple little studio that is just oh, so perfect. I'm so obsessed with it. What y'all think, huh? How did I do? All right, so that is pretty much it. So many people have requested this video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions on things that I maybe didn't get to cover in this video, go ahead and comment them below. And also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified as soon as part two comes out of my home office tour. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.